today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 0.63 update in stumble guys so first things first we have two brand new maps we got acid pool and then you probably saw this in the trailer but we have a pac-man power map i honestly don't know which to start with but we're gonna hop into pac-man immediately Ooh, wait this is so cool the map is giant bro this is literally just straight up pac-man and stumble guys so from what i've seen it's basically a collection map and you'll see on the right there who has the top three scores and it also will tell you how many pellets are remaining left per round um and i'm not sure how it goes about getting um people out does everyone qualify if you clear the stage these are questions i'm still figuring out but i'm only in eighth place um and it says that we only have five pellets left okay i'm trying to absorb everything and understand as we go and then we have one giant pellet, which I quite uh, don't understand where it's at. But I believe... Oh, there it is. Okay. And the bot got it. Ooh, and look at him. He's giant Pac-Man. Okay. I'm guessing we're playing as a team effort here, um, which is definitely a different feel. But maybe it's uh, only the top so many players move on. So it is collection, but it is, I think, elimination also at the same time. Um, we'll find out here pretty quickly. Let's see what uh, level we can at least get to. Okay, so there's a ton of pellets over here. And I will say it will be useful to have bots on for this. Uh, because otherwise, it would just be me running around trying to get every single pellet. Uh, but overall, the level design and the sound design is insane on this level. They've really stepped it up. Because before, there was like no sound effects whatsoever in the game. Um, okay, we have a lot of pellets this way. I want to get the power up. I want to see what it feels like. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing if you stand on, like, the binary code, uh, you basically die. Ooh, okay, so we can eat the ghost, maybe? Okay, there we go. And we get 100 points for that. Yo, we went from literally, like, 8th to now 1st. Okay, so that's the cheat code for winning. Just straight up. Oh, and volleyball is so good here, too. It's like, uh, double Pac-Man. You're like the ball and... Okay, dude. Oh, my God. We are at 730 points. Okay. Now, this is how you do collection maps. Okay. Um, Very cool. Now, there's one giant power-up left. And I'm guessing they programmed the bots to not go after them. Um, but we cleared the stage. And are the people getting fewer? I can't tell. Do we just go until we don't clear? I think that's where we're at. Interesting. Um, so I guess it's not supposed to be a difficult level. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a big Pac-Man event where each dot maybe is a currency, which honestly, like they did with rabbits, it's totally fine with. I'm just interested that I'm interested to see if you guys play this map like long term because Treasure Island, if you guys remember that map, it was around for a while and then like people really didn't play after rabbits was over. Uh, speaking of rabbits, they just brought that back. But um, let's focus on Pac-Man right now. Okay, so we qualified. Wait, was the time limit going this entire time? Wait, so it's whoever has the most points at the end of the time. Okay, I like that. I actually do like that. Kind of interesting. Um, I wasn't really too sure that it was ending, though. But nevertheless, that's really, really cool. Let's hop into the next map, which is called Acid Pool. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is like Laser Tracer plus Bot Bash plus... I don't even know, dude. Wait, um, am I supposed to stay up here? Nope. All right, so we have like this fan type thing. It looks to be pretty chill. Is that a floppy disk? Oh, we're gonna have to look at the cosmetics. Oh, wow. So it's literally Bot Bash plus oh wait yo this is sick okay i like this map already it's like bot bash 2.0 straight up now my question is oh these drop out very cool and that will drop there's a broom wait what okay i don't know why i pushed that bot they need to survive in order for me to see this map we're definitely gonna have to play against some real people get kyle and chase involved in the mix uh because we didn't see very much of that level at all I think that is a W map, though. There's a lot of potential there. I also like the Pac-Man map. Okay, now let's take a look at the cosmetics. Wait, this is a brand new screen. We have a featured tab now. 
interesting okay maybe they're gonna allow us to favorite different skins so we don't have to scroll through the entire page at least that's what i would hope for um but let's scroll to the very bottom and see what we got okay here we go Ooh, first things first we got a floppy disk with the stumble guys logo it's scopely okay this one's called sloppy floppy wait what is this name um it's my mind's in the gutter we're just gonna move on we're gonna move on uh we got tape pal second off okay stumble guys movie kind of cute looking i like it this one reminds me of the ramen skin okay french fries is that a cockroach uh okay kind of dirty looking um uh, moving on we have the pack fan Ooh, going alongside the girl variation as well i'm curious if this is going to be a free skin like they had the super fan for the uh world cup event nevertheless it looks like we have a bunch of animal skins as well we got macaw which is a parrot i don't know birds all that well i think it's a parrot anyway next we have mr nibs and he has the spoon with the skull and spikes on it. Kind of deceivingly um, vicious. Next up, we have Disc Diva with the 90s logo on the back. They're giving like throwback vibes with the Pac-Man update. I like the musical notes. It's a nice touch. Not my favorite though. Hey, wait, why is his face like that? His neck is his eyes. Wait, what? Okay, Emperor Taco. He has the Medal of Honor or whatever this is on his... I don't know. Would that be his forehead? Interesting. Uh, moving on. We have Soda Guy. Wait, is this a guy? Hey, yo. Hold up. Um, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> okay, we got Burger next. I like the Stumble Guys hat and the logo. Very cool. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Burger Robot. So this one's kind of middle of the road. Ooh, we have the Architect finally, which for those that do not know, this is like the um, mascot for the Stumble Guys workshop. So he has a pencil and like creative juices flowing. I like it. And next we have finally the Pac-Man skin. So we got Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Out of all of these... I don't know why, but the orange gloves are kind of throwing me off. I think it's accurate to the actual Pac-Man game, to the glove colors. But I don't know why, but like the pink and orange is kind of throwing me off. I think Inky out of the four different ghosts is my favorite. Let me know in the comments which is yours. Ooh, what is this? The Chupacabra. Wow, these are so in-depth. The spikes on his head, it's like a bite out of his ear. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, this is this is ferocious and going from the chupacabra to now scootron okay the wheels turn in you have the smoke effect he's doing a burnout i like this okay i don't know if i like his backpack being the second wheel but it's still super clean i like it okay next we have puggle which he has a straight up pirate sword uh strapped to the back of him and the pirate's hook wait is this a feather can't see it's on the top of the screen okay Ooh, ducker punch okay now we're talking this is my favorite so far it's not even close i do love ducks though so i'm kind of biased okay straight up has a cannon on the back of him wow okay and the buckle yeah this is by far taking it okay next we have controller freak which it's kind of basic and i'm not a huge fan wait oh I just realized that his hands are just straight up buttons. Ooh. I thought they were joysticks for a second. Cool, nevertheless. And now we got Pac-Man. Wait, why is his feet so far forward? Why does he have a dump truck, bro? Respectfully, he has a... He has a... A gut. Sorry, I'm very cringe. Let's move on. I'm so cringe. Uh, okay, we got the... Ooh, Aquarius. Look at the water effect on the, their hands and their hair Ooh, this one puts all other star sign skins to shame not even gonna lie this is my favorite so far wow okay groove blaster yeah kind of a retro look i like his sneakers a lot actually um but i personally won't be using this one okay another retro with the musical notes i like it um something about the eyes being off center kind of throw me off a track player honestly before my time i'm sure before your guys time uh but next we have gearhead Ooh, wait this is kind of similar to the scooter that we saw but i think i like this one more 
For a second, I thought these were spatulas, but these are the paddles to a car. Okay, wait, what does it say? Stumble. Guys, took me a second. Um, I like it, though. I like the shininess. Ooh. Coming up next, we got Corgi. Why is the Corgi a royal family member? Um, I'm a little confused, especially why they're in heels and immaculate drip. Uh, I kind of would have preferred a regular Corgi skin, just like a plain one. But um, over the top, it's kind of cool as well. Um, okay, next we got Zombie Banana. Wait, this one's clean as well. Um, it takes, like, the Brainy Brian and the Banana Guy and just pushes them two together. And uh, there's flies that just straight up move around you. The effects on this one is super cool. Okay, I think this is in my top five favorites for sure. And then we got Nimbus with the lightning effect on it. See, why are his feet below him? But Pac-Man, he just... Bro, he just, he just has his whole booty hanging out. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if they're going to make it look different. But we'll have to see what it looks like in-game when we get it later. Uh, but out of all of these, I think my favorites are definitely going to be the duck. We got the banana, the nimbus, Pac-Man, and then the Aquarius are like my top five. But let's see if we have any new emotes. Scrolling down. Come on. I mean, you guys would probably know if there's an uh, emote in the thumbnail. Ooh, we got the Pac-Man emo uncommon, the Corgi floof uncommon. Hey, yo, why is there? Never mind. Um, kind of sus. And then we oh, force shield. Wait, that's insane. Does it knock people back though? Cause I'm wondering if people will use the shield rather than going after people. I guess if you're in like first place. Or you're in a situation where you have to stay alive. Force shield would be so good. My other question is, is because taunt basically is a shield. For those that don't know, taunting, which is all these other emotes, will cancel out all other movement that goes on the player. So I'm curious if you can still move around while in the force shield. Because if it is, in fact, that, I think this emote could be really good. Um, let's take a look at animations, if we got any. Okay, we got game over. Pac-Man theme, run away from the ghost. We got power up, eating a pellet. Does he turn into Pac-Man? Okay, still kind of cool. Um, Respectfully, why is he jumping on it with his crotch? What is the placement, bro? He's he's like laying an egg. Wait, where's the pellet going? Uh, okay, I need to stop thinking about this. Uh, we're going to keep scrolling down. And we got power pellet. Okay, we got the ghost. Ooh, wait, the ghost is my favorite. I like that a lot. And then we got Waka Waka. Waka Waka Waka. Um, I think I like the ghost the best. Okay, not gonna lie, some pretty W cosmetics. But we're gonna speed run getting the brand new emotes. And on my second channel, I'm going to open up every single skin here. So if you wanna take a look at me doing that, the video will be up on that channel uh, pretty soon. So definitely go subscribe to my second channel there. Okay, now we're going to test out the brand new Force Shield emote. Can you just straight up run into a laser? Okay. No. <laughs> the answer is no. Um, I'm guessing it blocks from other emotes. Wait. Let's try it on Spike on Block Dash. And my point still stands, by the way. His dump truck is literally weighing him down. Do you guys see the angle that he's running at? Bro, there's no way this is supposed to be on purpose. All right, let's go ahead and test on a spike. Wait, the shield doesn't last very long. And the cooldown's very short. Do you guys see that? It's like one second. Okay, um, I kind of timed this poorly. Let's activate. Okay, wait. Did you guys just see that? It sent you at a different angle. It didn't make you go flying the same way. Wait. I think it reduces knockback. I have so many questions. Okay, let's try it on this beam. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't send you the same height. It's way more manageable. Okay. This is definitely going to be useful. Because look. You can just use it to your advantage. Absolutely. Wait. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of testing with this. 
Comment down below some myths you would like to see me break with the shield emote. And I'll make a whole dedicated video for just that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I tell you what, for the people that made it this far, I'm going to be giving away 10,000 gems to one lucky person in the comment section. So all you got to do is subscribe, comment your username down below, and make sure you have code Baby Yoda entered in your item shop. But hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. This update's crazy. We'll see you later. Goodbye.